experience. Alert! This is... Get ready! Get ready! Get out of guard! A good formation. Back to the soil. Hop, hop, hop. Now go. Yeah, yeah. Get to your stations. Power. Release. Get up there. Go. Power. Release. This strategy is great. Stop.
running. you decide to come with me? Pipe down. I don't have a reason. <laughs> I'm so happy! It's like we're on a little trip! The hell? There's nothing little about this trip. It'll be two days until we get there. That's long enough. Okay then. I have all these questions I want to ask you, Nachi. I'm gonna know everything there is to know about you! What? No. Huh? But it's such a long ride. Won't you be super bored if we don't talk? I'm used to being bored, so I'm good. Anyway, I'm gonna sleep. Wake me up when we get there. Come on, let's talk!
It's night already. Oh. Mm, my back hurts. Wait. What are you writing? This is my diary. I've been keeping one ever since I was little. Oh. I've seen you writing that before. Yeah, that's right. I started this one around the time I arrived at the manor. <laughs> Writing in it every night really helps encourage me to do my best every day. You write stuff down, but you still don't remember any of it. Here, let me take a look. No, no! It's too embarrassing! Let's see. Fanti fell off a cliff. It looked like it really hurt. <laughs> so that's the sort of stuff you write about? How does writing pointless crap like this help? You weirdo. That's so dumb. <laughs> you think so? Pretending to laugh along after being called a weirdo is even weirder. I guess I'm kinda odd, aren't I? I'm stupid, too. My father's always said so ever since I was little. Mm -hmm. Other people don't need to write things down to remember, though. But I forget things so quickly. It's why I keep a record of important stuff so I don't forget it. Well, it's not that big of a deal then, yeah? Everyone has things they're not good at. <laughs> but you know what? Keeping a diary is surprisingly fun. You should try it too, Nachi. The hell? No way I'm... Wait. Well, actually, I guess I do have something like that. Oh, yeah. You're still connected to Fanti while you're out this far, right? Huh? Let's see... Yeah, it sure seems that way. Which means it still might be eavesdropping on us. Hey, you there, Fancy? What are you doing? <laughs> Nothing. I'm sure that green blob has a sense of humor. <laughs> I think so too. Fanti! I'll be sure to bring home a souvenir for you, so look forward to it! Right, ladies, we're here. Don't forget your stuff. Wake up, Nachi! Nachi! Wake up! <sighs> so, this is your place. Yeah, I'm definitely getting the vibe whoever lives here used to be rich and sure as hell ain't anymore. Uh, uh -huh. Oh, my bad. My, my lady, my lady, is that really you? L Lord Cohen, my, my lady has, Lady Margaret has returned. Margaret, your name's Margaret? Yeah, yeah, that's my real name. <laughs> wow, I'm surprised. I can't believe you thought to use a fake name. Not bad. Hmm. Wait. But where is Eureka from, then? Um, that's... Hmm. A secret! 
fine. Whatever. Weird to see you standing your ground for once, though. <laughs> Welcome back, Margaret. I'm surprised you were able to hold on to that job of yours. I hope you haven't been... dowsing. No, I haven't. <laughs> I've been hard at work. Is that right? I may have been wrong about you. And this is... My... She's... My friend, Nachi. Her name is Nachiru. Your friend. You have my gratitude, Miss Nachiru. I'm glad to hear my daughter made a friend. It, it's... No big deal. How long will you be staying, by the way? We'll have to leave tomorrow evening. Oh, but it's good to hear your work is keeping you busy. Enjoy your stay while you're here. I'm sorry we can't offer much hospitality, Miss Nachiru. But I hope you'll make yourself at home as well. Don't take this the wrong way. But your dad is surprisingly normal. I thought he was going to be a foul-mouthed drunk. <laughs> but you're not supposed to be dowsing? Father doesn't like it. You, uh, play piano, don't you? <laughs> I used to, but I quit. Father said I could stop. I see. But you still know how, right? Go ahead. Try playing something. Well, okay. <laughs> I knew I couldn't do it. Yeah, you suck. Here, let me show you how it's really done. Huh? You, you know how to play? Wow, Nachi! You're so good! <laughs> I am, aren't I? You just can't play because you think you can't. Here, sit down. You can do it if we play together. From the top. Uh, okay. anyone survive here? It's so damn cold. We have to go! You said you wanted to see the Marguerite Daisies, didn't you? When did I say that? Plus, they're not even in bloom right now. These bloom year-round, I promise! That's impossible. These are the Highlands. I'm telling you the truth! Huh. <sighs> Fine. Let's bet on it. If they really are in bloom, I'll do anything you say. If they're not, you have to tell me why you go by Eureka instead of Margaret. If you're okay with that, we can go. It's a deal! Let's go! <clears throat> mm. 
No way. <sighs> How? See? I told you! This really is a Marguerite Daisy. How? Is it a different species? Is the soil extremely fertile or something? But... Isn't it beautiful? The sun is warm and the wind blowing from the mountains is nice and cool. Doesn't this feel great? For the hundredth time, I don't hate being outside. No. Maybe I don't hate it anymore. Hmm. I didn't really care about Marguerite Daisies, but now that I've seen them like this, <laughs> not too bad. Right? <laughs> what are you blushing for? I'm talking about the flowers, not you. You're so weird. You were named after this place, right? That's a pretty lazy way to pick a... Wait, what? Idiot. She can't possibly be thinking about making me wear that. Nachi! It's almost ready! Hang on, okay? <sighs> she hasn't got a care in the world. It's like she's still a little kid. The two of them really are fundamentally different. That aside... How fertile does the soil have to be for there to be so many? <sighs> this dirt isn't fertile at all. Nachi! What's wrong, Margaret? What's this sound called? That's a dissonant chord. 
It's made of two notes that aren't very compatible. Some say you shouldn't play them together at all. Do they not get along? Hmm. No, that's not it. Every sound plays a different part, right? They might sound harsh to us, but they haven't done anything wrong. I like them just fine. <laughs> that's so weird! Dear, don't be like this. We're nobles, not musicians. I'll do as much composing as I like, but I will not lower myself to becoming a street performer. <sighs> Very well. In that case, I'll be the one to leave. Come along. Hey, that's my son. The children shall decide for themselves. Do, do you really think you'll be able to find any work as a musician if you leave this house? Father, we're leaving with Mother. Let's go, Margaret. But... but... Here, try playing. are you doing? Oh, um... Don't use that! If you hadn't used it in the first place... <sighs> Why were you the one that stayed? I... I'm going to do my best! To... Cheer up, Father! <sighs> That's enough for today. We'll continue tomorrow. Uh, okay. Please cheer up. I'll do my best then. Oh, leaving already? Yes, we need to head back. Fan... well, there's someone waiting for us. And when will you be returning? I don't know yet, but I think my current work will be finishing up soon, so... W what? You're losing your job at the manor? What about that witch? Whatever her name is, that the Count mentioned in his letter. Can't you keep working for her? 
Madam Witch isn't the one paying my salary right now. Well, can't you at least live at the Count's Manor? He must have a job that will allow you to stay there. I don't think it works that way. There's already a maid named Miss Toba, and the Count isn't at the manor much. Well, I mean, the Count is a bachelor, isn't he? He hasn't taken any interest in you, by chance? What? No, it's not like that. I, I know. How about I pay him a visit before your job concludes? He could be a fan of my music. Divas the country over have performed my songs. He must have heard one of them, at least. The visiting might be difficult. The Count isn't the kind of person who... Well, how else is an idiot like you supposed to make any money? You have no talent, you have no tact, and above all else, you are a useless fool. Have some self-awareness. <gasps> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry for being so bad at piano and for being so stupid. Oh, right. I'm... I'm sorry, Margaret. And in front of your friend. Let's go. Eureka. Oh, okay. Here. Your daughter let me borrow some money. I'm paying it back. Take it. What, what do you mean? Let's go. Eureka.
welcome back, Fenty. What's wrong? Oh, did you find the last Curio d'Art? My, my, that was quick. You're on top of things, as always. But this feeling over the manor. Hiya, Granny! Did you get them all? Yes, let's see. Perico, dear, please wake up the Count in the living room. What? Not that guy again? I hate him! Just shut up and go get him. I don't care if you have to drag him over here. Ugh. Now, let's see. I should probably check, just to be sure. Yes. No mistaking it. This is a curio d'art. That makes seven, Fanti. There are six days until the next full moon. <laughs> Whether it's for better or for worse, everything is going according to plan. Is this a coincidence? Or is it fate's equilibrium in effect? I suppose the wandering spirit sees through all, doesn't it? Let's put that aside for now. We might have found the last one. But we haven't fully conquered the labyrinth, have we? I assume you haven't because something got in your way again. Now, what should we do? <coughs> if I was your medium, I could write it out. But as it is, there's nothing I can do to help. I thought you were back quickly, but it seems you were just messing around. Did you even wake the Count? Not yet! Fix her first! Yuru said to feed chicken meat, but she's not moving! Oh, so the bird did die after all. I suppose it's about time then. Erica, child, chicken meat isn't a doll. You can't fix living creatures. No fixing? Chicken meat living? That's right. And what did I say about calling Eureka that name? Did you forget already? Mm. Got it. It's just... It's just for safety's sake. Be careful. Go bury the bird in the garden or something. <coughs> huh? Granny? <sighs> How much longer? Sorry, there ain't much for you to do. It'll be another half day at least. If we keep going at this pace, it looks like... sundown, maybe. My back hurts. My hips. Even my shoulders are stiff. And I still feel sick to my stomach, thanks to your dad. <laughs> but I'm really, really happy you came with me, Nachi! Yeah, but... whatever. Oh, what's a kid doing here? P Perry! What's going on? Is she dead? Perry, what's wrong? Granny. She stopped moving, not moving. <laughs> Granny might be dead! <laughs> Where are Miss Toba and Count Bismont? Perry! This brat ran all the way.
way here? It's half a day by carriage. Help. Granny. Mr. Coachman, please hurry! What? What do we do? Oh. Wait, is this... But why would this old bat have that? It's impossible. But these symptoms... It seems like Count Bismont isn't here. Harry says that Miss Toba hasn't been back since we left, either. I... I... I'm going to the capital! I'll find a doctor! It's too late for that today. B but... Are you planning on running the whole way? You'll faint before you get there, just like Perico. There's nothing we can do for today. By the way, how's Perico? Harry's sound asleep in my room. I think she was really tired. Madam Granny, why didn't I notice earlier? I knew she wasn't feeling well. Right. Is Fanti back? Oh, yeah. Uh, Fanti? Are you there? Oh, that's a relief. Fanti's okay. Is something wrong, Nachi? The seventh Curio de Art is here. That means we've collected all nine? All nine are here. Huh? We finally found all of them? That's great, Fanti! Did Madame Granny leave that note? From what I can tell, we collected all of them. But she thinks that Fanti hasn't finished exploring the labyrinth yet. I don't know how that old bat got her hands on this. But she wrote this down too. Pretty sure this is the riddle where Fanti's stuck right now. But I'm afraid it doesn't look like something a person can solve. A riddle that can't be solved? I'm getting a pretty strong feeling from this. It feels almost like a grudge, actually. I don't think this is meant to be solved by anyone. Under normal circumstances, it could take months. Even years wouldn't be enough. I think that's the kind of riddle we're dealing with. Oh! Do you think that means we're supposed to use that curio? You know, the sage book? No way. That's far too dangerous. And more importantly, it's got nothing to do with our health. We don't need to keep exploring. But we can't just leave Madam Granny like this. We have to do everything we can to help. <sighs> Would she get better if we solved the riddle and finished exploring the labyrinth? The world doesn't always work how you want it to. We collected the curio that the Count wanted. That's all we had to do. And since he's not here, there's nothing we can do for now. You, you're right, but there has to be something we can do for Madam Granny. Like, um, that's it! You haven't gone to Count Bismont's room, have you? No, right? His room? Count Bismont might be in! I'll go check! Hey, wait! Count Bismont! Are you here? Looks like he's not answering. Let's get out of here. But what if he fell down and can't get back up again like Madam Granny? Hey, can you pick the lock again? I don't think he's in there, but... Wait. The door's not even locked. C Count Bismont! Anybody home? Don't go so far into the room. It's really dark in there. He's not in. <gasps> Count Bismont? It isn't him. Nachi, this isn't the real Count Bismont. It looks like him, but this is just a puppet. Huh? 
But why does he have a puppet that looks just like him? No. It's probably not his puppet. It's the Count himself. What? What do you mean? I mean, the Count is a puppet. Huh? You mean someone enchanted it? Technically, it's the same idea as the puppet soldiers. But we're not underground. I thought there wasn't any mana up here. Yeah. The mana in this world is pretty sparse. On the other hand, the mana inside Galeria Manor is relatively dense. Wait, what the heck? Uh, I don't sense any mana. It's like most of it disappeared. What's going on? How could this happen? Is it because we found all the curio? Nachi, what's going on? You just told me Count Bismont is actually a puppet. I can't keep up with all this. B besides, why is he even a puppet in the first place? Does that mean someone made him? H hey, Nachi! Don't ask me. I don't know either. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Let's get out of here. Okay, we have to look after Granny, but we can take turns doing that. I'll take the first shift. Go get some sleep. Uh, okay. Madam Granny, what should we do? Up until now, Fanti would go exploring and find something to fix our problems. I wonder if Fanti's exploration can help us get through this too? Uh, okay! If that's the case... If, if I use this, then... Maybe... Oh, sorry. I was looking for Miss Yuri. Madam Witch, no. Miss Nachiru, I'm so glad we were able to talk. Revolution! Burn them! Don't let a single one get away! Ah, uh -huh. what do you think? I could go by Queen Tobalier. That would make you King Cognac. The guillotine must be dripping with blood. Oh, that's right. You heard of Galeria Manor? Let's make that our fort. <sighs> uh, a dream? Uh, what was that? It didn't feel like a normal dream. Was it one of the ones that Twerp used to talk about? But she's supposed to be the Oracle, not me. <sighs> Fancy, wh what are you doing? What's going on? Now that I think about it, Kit did say something about the wandering spirit's powers. Huh? Is the lantern here too? Sorry, I nodded off there. I'm fine now. You go to bed. No, you can sleep, Nachi. It's not like Madam Granny has a fever. There's no point in staying awake to take care of her. This isn't a normal illness anyway. It's something else. Huh? Y Eureka? Oh, that's right. I have a request to make. I solved the underground riddle. It should open up if you recite this in front of the gate. Can you send this into the lantern? What? You? Solved it? That's written in runes. You shouldn't be able to read it, much less figure the whole thing out. Well, it was fairly simple. I was able to decipher 30% of it by comparing the epitaphs we found. It was a well-known requiem for stillborn souls. Once I determined that, I was able to solve the rest by... Well, I suppose decipher isn't perfectly accurate. It was more like... I saw it. What does that mean? Yuri, don't tell me you... My head is as clear as can be now, Nachi. 
as though a thick fog has dissipated and I can see everything perfectly. You... used it? Yes, that's right. But I'm completely fine. It didn't cause any harm. In fact, I feel much better. What were you thinking? Oh, but it seems as though the lantern is no longer connected to me. I wonder why it went over to you, despite the lack of a pact between you two. It must be because... Well, never mind that. You're tired, aren't you, Nachi? Let's turn in for the day. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey! Hello! Ah, hello there, young lady. Sorry to bother you so early in the morning. Tomas writes, the reporter, yes? You're injured. Are you all right? Yes, just a little blunder. It's been a rough day. Good day, Miss Eureka. We're actually here today with a request for Madam Witch. I'm sorry, Miss Kay. To tell you the truth, Madam Granny... I understand, but if that's the case, it might be better to summon a doctor instead of taking her to the capital. Best we do it sooner than later. I'll make the arrangements once you've talked to her. Okay, I'll leave this to you. What's the matter, Miss Kay? I was wondering if I could borrow the curio you mentioned before. The screw of... something or other? The screw of Goliath? The one that prevents lies? Nachi! I want to lend the screw of Goliath to Miss K. It's okay, isn't it? Seeing as Count Bismont isn't here anyway. The hell? Of course it's not. You can't lend out any of the curio to Art. We have no idea what might happen. Definitely not. Huh? Why not? I'm much better off now that I've used one. Doesn't it depend on how a curio's used? <laughs> I mean, you and Madam Granny weren't able to solve the riddle, but I could do it with ease. I think that's incredible. Hey, you really Eureka? It's like you turned into someone totally different. What are you talking about? Of course I'm Eureka. And I can see all sorts of things that I couldn't before when I was stupid. I understand so much more now. More than I ever thought possible. B pardon me. Eureka? You've changed. I haven't changed? What's wrong with you? Am I not Eureka anymore because I don't agree with everything you say? That's not what I'm saying. Yes, it is! You never left our room, so you don't know anything about Miss Kay at all! Why do you have to be so cruel all the time? I went in earlier and chicken meat's gone! You did that, didn't you? What? Forget it, Nachi! If you're not going to be cooperative, then I'll do it myself! Hey, I said no. Miss Eureka, I want to help him. And for the sake of the child I'm bearing, please, for Nicholas' future! You need to understand that the Curio de Art aren't supposed to be. You haven't done anything this whole time! Why are you suddenly butting in now? Just to be mean? Huh? I'm not trying to be mean. Over here, Miss Kay! <sighs> oh! Is this it? Thank you, Miss Eureka! I hope you can hear how your parents really feel. Please be sure not to use it for anything else. It's dangerous. Yes, of course. I'll return with the doctor as soon as I reach the capital. I'm off, Kay. Thank you, Miss Eureka. I'll see how Madam Witch is doing. I'm sure she'd appreciate that.
Oh, that's right. Nachi. Nachi, are you here? I'm sorry I was so harsh earlier. <laughs> Miss K brought some snacks. I'll leave them here, okay? It's been a while since Mr. Tomas left, but the doctor still hasn't arrived. I wonder what's taking so long. Huh? The... the sky's red! It's... it's burning? N Nachi! Come here! Look! There's something wrong with the sky! The, the hell is this? It's bright red. Why? The clouds over there look like they're being lit up from below. The... the capital's burning? A revolution started in the capital. I'm sure the fighting will reach us here before much longer. Uh, a revolution? We have to run. Eureka, we're not safe here. We can't! Madam Granny's still here! We have to wait for the doctor! If we can see the fire from the manor, the capital's gotta be a war zone. No doctor's going to come all the way out here! Yeah, you're right. Huh? What was that noise? Miss Kay! What's happening? Capitals burning? Wait, that sound. The gate's been breached. They're already here? They can't be from the capital. I'm afraid the nearby villagers may be targeting nobles. Wh why? Isn't it obvious? There's no way those penniless farmers are gonna play nice with the nobility anymore. Then they'll be on our doorstep any minute! We need to head back. Let's get inside. Madam Granny! Nachi! Madam Granny's gone! She's not here either. What's going on? Th that's right! We, we need to wake Perry up! I've been looking for you. I'm glad you're all safe. What are you doing here? Oh, oh, I, I didn't mean to scare you, but it's dangerous here. You have to come with me. Don't worry, it's going to be all right. Now let's hurry. Harry's... Come on, stand up. Nachiru! This way, you two! Hurry! Miss K? You're from the field nearby, aren't you? What are you doing here? Hey! Nachiru! Ah! Huh? I'm alright, you two. I'm the oldest here, so don't worry. I'm a commoner myself. It'll be okay. <gasps> what? What's going on? Nachi? This is no revolution. It's just a bloodthirsty mob. Once people come into power, they'll always use it for their own selfish ends. But, but everyone used to get along so well. Only within the existing power structure. If that changes, so does the way people think. If the way they think changes, so will their actions.
I'm going to check on Perry again. Thinking back, there wasn't any blood. Maybe I jumped to conclusions. Nachi? What are you doing? It's a sealing technique. They won't be able to get in here that easily. But it'll only last for an hour or so. If they break in, then... Everything Kate did to help us get away would have been for nothing. Huh. Nachi, I wanted to ask. If the Lantern de Phantasmagory itself were destroyed, what would happen to the spirit? What are you talking about? We've got bigger problems right now. Calm down, Nachi! This is important! I don't know. I don't even know which soul it's attached to right now. Yours or mine? Nachi! Calm down! I really don't know. Fanti might come back to the medium. Or maybe the pact would just be broken. Worst case scenario, it disappears. <sighs> Thank you, Nachi. I believe it might be best to have the lantern go underground right now. I don't know what's beyond that door in the labyrinth, but I think we need to get past it. It housed the Curio. We need to find out what's beyond even them. I feel like the architect behind the labyrinth definitely left some kind of message beyond that door. I think it'll help us uncover something that will explain what's happening right now. Yuri? Go, Lantern! Find something for us! You're the only one that can save us! <laughs>